So I need to take my car to the car wash because there is way too much pollen on it. And oh no, was that open all night? That's not good. So yeah, there's way too much pollen on my car. And also the neighbors have like a family reunion going on. So I'm just, I want to get out of here. Please wait while we verify your membership. No, fuck Here's off. That. Welcome to our car wash. Ultra rainbow shampoo. Awesome. Yeah, no shit. I love the car wash. Ah! No! Fall in my car, ASMR. Hey, that rhymed! All right, so I'm at Shank Park again to try to do some kind of photography tutorial. Uh, this time we're gonna be going over composition, which is how the shot is set up, using rule of thirds, various other things like that. I've got Gabe here with me as a subject. It'll be fun. You good? Alright, so earlier today I shot the first episode, maybe it's going to be the second, I don't know, however I decided to edit the videos, uh, one of the episodes of the photography tutorial, I just got to Lars's, we're going to shoot the second one now, or the first one again, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, check it out, it's going to be a bullseye, you what? Um, well, it looks like I wouldn't be the first one to hit the door. Ah, 19. Ah, shit. Yo, what the fuck are those? What the fuck? Oh my god. You might want to try hitting the board. once. Where are you getting this stuff? I have two bigger ones. What do you use them for? This. <laughs> Yo. That's so cool. You want to shoot? Yes, I want to shoot. Here. That was weak. Blow harder. That's what she says. <laughs> you ever shot a person with this? I have not. Do you want to get shot? Not really. <laughs> It'd be like a shot at the doctor's. Hey, I just got my COVID vaccine. Oh, well, first round. I'll be the one to say it's more fun to use that than the actual darts. That's fair. I'm pissed. We're currently on a rescue mission. We went to this park to take pictures. In the dark, I couldn't see anything. And my camera fell in the water. And I'm going to get rice to save the camera, or at least try to. So yeah, that's, that's how my day's going. Also on the way here, my check engine light came on, so. Ugh. Well, I cannot believe this is happening right now. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, I was out taking pictures at night by the water 
to try to do some night photography, you know, mess with the exposure. And I was trying to make a uh, tutorial video on all of it. Unfortunately, there's no footage of the camera falling in because that happened before we could even start the video. Literally, I sat the camera on a tripod and my dumbass didn't think to adjust the tripod to the terrain so it was like leaning, which I, I've done that before. Just set the tripod and let it lean a little bit. I guess this was a little too much and the camera fell over and it was just close enough to the water that the camera fell in, but the rest of the tripod was just fine out of the water. Uh, I got it out as fast as I could, but clearly that didn't work. I haven't put the battery back in yet or turned it on or anything like that because if I do that and there's still water in here after having it in the rice, uh, that kind of damage is irreversible unless I want to spend more money to fix it than the camera's actually worth. Um, so yeah, the, I'm like, is there rice on the inside of it too? I think there's rice inside the camera somehow, even though I had all the things closed. I don't know. And the lens too. Like, I think there's rice in there somehow. Maybe it's dirt from the water because it was like muddy water. So I don't know. They're just both, they're bricked. All right. I can't use them. So <laughs> I'm kind of lost right now. That's the main camera that I used for everything. So yeah, it's a big loss. <laughs> this camera is a big loss for me. Um, and yeah, I don't want to turn this into like a, oh, woe is me, you know, pity party thing, but I'm in college right now and I can't afford to buy a brand new camera unless I absolutely have to. You know, I'm trying everything that I can to be able to get one without going broke. I started a GoFundMe, link will be down below. Uh, any amount will help, honestly. I would appreciate it very much. The goal is $1,000, but that's only if I need to get a new camera. I found used cameras. I mean, this one was used when I got it with the lens was like $1,200. The goal is 1000 on the GoFundMe. Um, but I mean, if the camera's fixable and it's less than 1000 but we somehow get to 1000 which I don't see that happening, but if we do, and that I have more money than I really need to repair it, I'm gonna find a way to give that money back to you guys, the people who donated and have helped me out with this, um, whether it's through a giveaway or something. I've never done something like this before, so. I hesitated to make a GoFundMe because I thought that was for sick people and people who have actual problems, but I mean, there's a creative arts option there's also accidents and emergencies, which <laughs> I was contemplating between the two, but I went with creative arts because it's not an emergency really. It's just, <sighs> it's a roadblock. It's more of a roadblock. So yeah, go check that out if you can. Honestly, 100 people donating $10. Sounds like a lot, but really 100 people, $10, not much. Um, and again, I might not even need all of that, so. All right, so I'm here at the UPS store to try to send this back, see if Cannon can fix it for me. I don't have much hope, but at the same time, I do.